You know, Falcon and the Winter Soldier wasn't the first MCU show to come to Disney+, Plus, but it was one of the more anticipated ones, particularly for me. Um, you know, Anthony Mackie is one of those treasure gems inside of the MCU. And of course, Sebastian Stan, everybody loved him as Winter Soldier. And so they decided they were going to go ahead and do this show, Falcon the Winter Soldier, had a lot of people excited. I particularly got really excited because my all-time favorite mixed martial artist, George St. Pierre, good Canadian kid, was going to be in it playing Batroc. Uh, he's going to reprise, he was reprising his role as Batroc the Leaper. I love him. Not a great thespian, George. I love you anyway, but you know, he was in there too. Now, I didn't love the show. I didn't love it, but I liked it, and it certainly had some things going for it. In particular, I love the chemistry between Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan, and you throw in Daniel Brühl in that mix. I thought Daniel Brühl was great in the show. I mean, his dance meme is still one of the best things on the internet, has had in a long, long time. But when they announced that Anthony Mackie was going to be starring in Captain America 4, a lot of whispers started going around about, well, I guess we're not going to get Falcon the Winter Soldier. And in headlines going around today, Anthony Mackie has confirmed, yep, no Falcon the Winter Soldier season two. They've moved everything over to movies now. This comes to us from the folks over at Game Radar, quote, quoting Anthony Mackie saying this, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I really enjoyed doing that show. I was actually excited to do a second season just so me and Sebastian Stan can get paid to hang out, Mackie told Radio Times. Because it's like me, him, and Daniel Brühl, it's kind of like the perfect storm of happiness. Mackie also revealed that Stan and Brühl <laughs> wouldn't be reprising their roles for Captain America 4, meaning we won't be seeing Bucky Barnes or Hamid Zemo, uh, Zemo in the film. When they decided to go back to the movies... It is what it is, but I don't have my friends anymore, so it kind of dampens it a little bit. Listen, what if I love Anthony Mackie. I do too. Right? The, the dude, even when he's at press conferences and stuff like that, he's just so authentic, and he speaks from a very, you know, personal point of view when he's talking about stuff. So hearing him talking about, yeah, I was just really looking forward to do second season because I just want to hang out with my buddies. It's a lot of fun. I am a little bit surprised because even though, Rob, we had never heard Anybody say that, you know, that Sebastian Stan was going to pop up in Captain America 4 or that Daniel Brühl would pop up in Captain America 4? I think there was a part of me, and and honestly, I think there were a lot of other people who had a part of them feel like we're kind of half expecting them to pop up. But according to Anthony Mackie, that's not happening either. Rob, I understand the move to the big screen. I get it. It's hard. You can't go jumping back and forth between big screen and small screen. I get that. But are you surprised to hear that they're probably not doing a, a Falcon Winter Soldier Season 2 or a Captain in Winter Soldier Season 2? And is it the right move? What do you think? Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Miracle Made. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so that you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. When they arrived at our house, my wife Anne loved the feel of them so much, she couldn't even wait for me to get home to put them on our bed. Miracle Made has self-cleaning. These sheets Sheets are infused with silver that prevents up to 99.7 of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. Miracle Sheets also have incredible comfort and quality. Miracle Sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. So go to TryMiracle, that's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash Campia to try Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code CAMPIA at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you will get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA and use the code CAMPIA to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's try miracle.com slash campia to treat yourself i guess i'm not surprised john because they're moving both anthony mackie is doing his captain america films and then sebastian sands going over to thunderbolts so i understand they're not losing either one of them they're going to have a much larger presence in the mcu i have to say that while i know they had to rejigger the plot of captain or falcon winter soldier because of the pandemic i really like the show and I like this show because at its at its center 
was something that was fundamental to the MCU itself, which is, is Falcon, is Sam Wilson worthy of, of picking up the mantle of Captain right, America? Right. That was, I, I think, from a storytelling standpoint, from an MCU standpoint, that was a driving thrust of that story. And and when he, he had that central conflict, he was told by somebody he respected, no, you shouldn't. It's not worth it. These people will always let you down. And he said, you know what? Despite that, I'm going to do it anyway. And I felt that the resolution of that series was quite, in a way, moving. Now, was it a little political? Was it politically overt at the end? You do better, Senator. You know, they've used that as a meme. Yes, I understand that might have been a little heavy handed, but it fit with the theme of what we were seeing. And I liked watching. I think Anthony Mackie's a tremendous actor. I liked his transformation. And let me just say, John, that action figure, the Hot Toys figure of him, cap that Captain Very America cool. suit's a banger, dude. Very good one. But no, I really like the show, and um, I like the character. And and I look, despite all the production issues that that Captain America Four is having, I've got my high hopes for it. I I want it to be great because I love him, I love him as Captain America, and um, I wish him all the best because I really like Anthony Mackie as a performer. Yeah, well, I think one of my favorite things about. Falcon the Winter Soldier. Well, particular was when uh, Bucky and um, Sam's sister started to hit it off. And Bucky and Sam's reaction all that, that was great. But I also really liked that they did some things in it that made it feel a little more real world. Yes. And like one, one of the things that really stood out to me, because I think some people found it silly, but for me it really worked. When right from the first episode we find out that Bucky is in the process of actually... He's doing therapy. Right. And he's going around trying to find people who might be still alive that he has wronged. And then the fact that, like, the, the old man that he's hanging out with, like, he killed his son. It, like, they just, it was, like, just really good drama. I thought there, to know? and even, look, I'm always banging on about they've really never dealt with the real world implications of the snap. And when you find out that him and his sister are trying to get a bank loan to restore their family boat. But he hasn't been around for five years, so he literally has no credit right? because yeah. of the snap. And, you know, I thought that was a really interesting – it seems silly to say, but to me that made the ramifications of what Thanos had done, you know, to take them and make them every day and maybe a little mundane, really hit home about how this would affect everybody's life. And I really like what they did there. But, you know, they also introduced something in the show that I understand why they've dropped it all together – but they introduced something in that show that Marvel has never touched on again. And I, I get why they're not touching on it because I don't know how you address it. But in the show, they specifically asked the question. After five years, the world started to feel normal again, right? Like this, this is what life is now, right? At five years after the snap. For all of a sudden, three billion people suddenly reappear that were not there yesterday like okay yeah what we've asked the questions what about you know the wife who lost her husband and then eventually moved on now the husband's back what about you know the the people who disappeared and their house was there so somebody else bought the house and lives there now and these people are back and like like half like three billion people reappearing and they touch on that in falcon winter soldier but I've not seen anything in Marvel ever mention it again about the complications that would have. But still, I, I get why they didn't. Manifest did that pretty well, though. That's just did a microcosm. Did that, but yeah. no, I, I I agree with you because it, they could have taken this. I mean, what a disruption of of the planet, and they could have explored this on many different levels. Because you know, you would have had housing itself would have fallen into disrepair. You know, these five, all those domiciles empty, all that infrastructure empty. How many how many farmers? weren't making as much food because there was half the demand went away and then all of a sudden yeah all of a sudden back. you've you've doubled the how do you get all needs. those how do you yeah. get all that stuff to people you know what i'll be honest i'm impressed that they even brought it up in falcon the winter soldier because most of these like genre kind of movies and shows and franchises they don't ever address normally the consequences of what happened in right. previous chapters so at least they did touch on it but no, at any did. rate guys question is for you what do you think about this? The fact that Anthony Mackie seems to confirm that there's not going to be a Falcon Winter Soldier season two. I think a lot of people suspected that, but I was kind of looking forward to seeing more chemistry between them. Maybe they will pop up in movies together soon. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts.
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campion Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.